started the company in January 2017, and uh, now we grew really quickly to uh, 14 people, uh, almost 20 people now. And uh, we want to, um, we are currently ramping up the production, so um, our kit will be available uh, to everyone um, in, in Q4 2018. And right now we are selecting different partners um, in different industries to work with us. So these are the early adapters that are using our design toolkit for, to build their applications. So currently we have a development kit and APIs for people to use our kit um, and develop their own applications uh, with 3D um, like skeletal integration like in Unity 3D and on iOS to develop their own apps and uh, we, we have the API to su support this kind of development. Um, and that's the, 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 the goal is we will be able to ramp up different applications based on our hardware design um, by the end of this year. There are two types of people that I see that would be the ideal partnership. One is people that already heavily uh, rely on these type of information that we can gather, i.e. the 3D body movement, not only like full body, but maybe partial body movement. Um, so if they already use toolkits to analyze these movements, we want to be able to bring them to the next step of equipment or hardware so they can um, utilize our technology to bring the existing experiment set up outside of the lab. One example is um, if you go to the best sports performance center, they always have a room like where we are right now with a lot of cameras and uh, each uh, top athletes go there every day and measure their movement, which is very different from going out in the field and measuring things in, on the field in real time. So I think the first type of partnership are companies, industry, research labs that already heavily rely on equipment that's the size of this room and want to bring it outside of the lab to do the same type of studies. Uh, the second type of partnerships are companies who's never used this type of system before, but have um, either part of the business or part of their production or part of the everyday operation with, uh, with a lot of movement. This could be a factory. So if you have factory workers with different type of skill sets or uh, a level of the craftsmanship, say, then we can use these wearable platforms to uh, analyze the style of craftsmanship and transfer these type of style of movement. Or you can use that to analyze the level of fatigue or stress that your job is like, um, you know, applying on your body and do some kind of analysis to see who is best fit for what position or how much break time do you, should you have in the course of a day during the same like work shift. So these are the type of applications that we think is really useful for the industry, like for insurance industry, for workers comp, um, and uh, it's not yet like, like um, uh, applied in the real world. And we're really interested in this type of collaboration that can bring something that used to be thought as something that's difficult into like your everyday life. So essentially for everyone.